Today we're going to do a video on uh, steam engines. Uh, we're going to start here with this uh, Simpson Strickland Kingdoms pattern, Patton steam engine from the late 1800s. But first, uh, let's just take a little overview of what we got here. I'm going to try to do a series of uh, videos on these uh, different steam engines which I have. Uh, some of them are marine engines. Here's a couple marine steam engines. There's a Creeble and there's a rotary valve engine and there's a nice little, uh, I'm pretty sure, marine engine. We've got some uh, Dunbar popcorn engines. Stanley steamer engine. Most everything you see in this video we'd be more than happy to share with uh, anybody that has an interest in uh, uh, steam engines. Of course there'd be a, a slight consideration before the, the uh, transaction took place. Anyway, let's concentrate on this little engine here. Uh, this is the uh, Simpson Strickland Kingdoms Patton steam engine from Dartmouth, England. Late 1800s, around 1900. And uh, this is a uh, tandem quadruple expansion marine steam engine. And uh, we'll go into that here in a minute, what I know about it. You can see the oiler boxes here. You put oil in and it drips down uh, on the cross edge and uh, down on the connecting rods. There's little, uh, little funnels, funnels down here on the connecting rods. One there. There's a lot of neat features. These are all the uh, cylinder uh, blow down cocks for draining the water out on the cold engine. And uh, it has greasers on the main bearings. Got a couple oilers on the top to put a little oil in before you start the engine, get a little lubrication going on. I guess this number 81, which is in a few places on the engine, may, may mean that it is serial number 81. Somebody knows about that, let me know. There's uh, number 81. There's number uh, 81 there. I, I don't think I found any other numbers. And, uh, Let's see if we can get this thing running. It's running that direction. See if it'll reverse. Lock it into place. Like I said, this is quadruple expansion, which I guess means it has four cylinders. Uh, it's a tandem, so it has two cylinders on one rod. So what happens is uh, what I know about it. I'm not the world's expert on these, but here's what I think happens. The steam goes in here and goes in the small high pressure cylinder, comes out of that cylinder, goes in this cylinder, comes out of that cylinder, through that manifold there on the back side and goes into this cylinder and then it comes into the last big cylinder which I suspect what is running in the back here. It's a condensing engine so uh, I think that last cylinder runs at a pretty low pressure of vacuum once the steam condenses down to uh, the water. So 
there it is. Simpson Strickland tandem quadruple expansion steam engine. Blow it down a little bit with the valve here. Try reverse again.